So if some people would like to move around to the back to support the activists who are disrupting at the back, we need a few more. BBC! 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 to return to what Liam said before, remembering that we are here, it's very exciting, there's a lot of action happening, a lot, a lot going on. We are here as an act of grievance. We're here in honor of our planet and the people and those that live on it. And I'd like to take a moment to share some more music together in this space. The song which um, we are going to sing is a climate change rendition of Silent Night. It's something that was sung at some alternative Christmas carols earlier this week with XR here in London. And it's something which is a message from the future, a message from the future being sent to us here in 2018, telling us that now is the time to act. Now is the time we can make a change. So if you have song sheets, please get them out and join in. If you don't, please look around and find someone who does, and you can share their song sheet with them. You should have put the words on the face. Silent night, lonely night. has been sung in a lot of XR actions recently. Um, if you know it, join in. If you don't, it's very easy to pick up. We are dawning, we are rising up. We are the change, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are dawning, we are rising up. We are the change, we are the ones we've been waiting for, and we are dawning, we are rising. 
got. Find somebody to hold on to. We are the change. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are dawning. We are rising up. We are the change. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are dawning. We are rising up. Come rise with us, BBC. We are the change. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are dawning. We are rising up. We are the change. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are dawning. We are rising up. And what are we going to rise like? We're going to rise like the water. People going to rise like the water. Going to shut this system down in the voice of my great granddaughter. Climate justice now. People going to rise like the water. Going to shut this system down in the voice of my great granddaughter. Saying climate justice now. People gonna rise like the water. Gonna shut this system down. In the voice of my great granddaughter. Saying climate justice now. People gonna rise like the water. Gonna shut this system down. In the voice of my great granddaughter. Listening, staff of the BBC. Maybe you should learn something from Extinction Rebellion. Disruption works. We're taking non violent civil disobedience against the government, and you too can take action against your managers, against your bosses. You too can join us and take non violent civil disobedience. You can go and strike. You can take action. We need the BBC to tell the truth on the climate crisis. We need you to name this as an emergency. In a few years, when food prices rise, this crisis will affect every family in this country. In a few years, when those food prices rise, we're going to see an increase in fascism, in war across the world. And we need you to declare this as an emergency that everyone needs to get behind because everyone will be affected by this. This is everyone's concern. in non-violent civil disobedience and join the rebellion on the 15th of April 2019. <laughs>
this is the biggest Xmas present of the year. Everyone's come out, so many thousands of people, well, not quite thousands, but many, many people have supported this idea of Xmas. X mass destruction. X out, mass extinction. Mix X out, mass consumption. Mass consumption is actually what's causing our problem and the earth. It's, it's us. We're consuming. It's not the police's fault. They're also consumers. The BBC, we have asked very clearly for the BBC to listen. They're a broadcast organization. They are a public organization. How come they aren't covering this? Have you seen any BBC cameras? No. Have you seen any other cameras? There's independent media. I've seen a lot of great people creating, sending messages all over the world, but are there the established media telling the story? Even the media that are competing with BBC. They're not here showing the story of the century. The story of the century. Here's a s relatively small group of people who are telling the truth. Amazing. They're telling the truth about how we're facing, listen to this word, it starts with X, well, actually E, but extinction, X. Extinction, it means your children your children, the policeman, right, I'm looking at right now, he may have children, or the next one may have children. They care about their children as much as this gentleman and this, uh, this, uh, this little baby here. They care about their children. They're doing their job. Why? Because they're trying to stay in the system. They're trying to get paid. But will it matter? Will it matter? If we have food prices increasing, which has caused revolution around the world, and violence and death and destruction around the world, when that happens here, will they be with us? I think so. Everyone will be with the Extinction Rebellion. We need to rebel now, and it's not a violent thing. It's not violent. There's no violence here. There's only, I have a bag there, it's a red bag, and it's full of sustainability. <laughs> it's full of smiles. Look at the smile on this guy over here. There are lots of smiles. Every, this is our program for, for the Republic of Conscience. The Sustainer Clause comes from the Republic of Conscience, Conscience Land, which I hope you all become members of, of course. You already are, actually, citizens of conscience. I see it on the vests. Citizens of conscience who are talking in front of the British Broadcasting Corporation. The British Broadcasting Corporation, which has had a history of uh, a worldwide history. I'm from the North Pole. Uh, we hear it, it, and it's melting. My home is just gone, right? It's, the igloo is, is finished. So uh, uh, the, the, the BBC has a, has a reputation around the world of being a, 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 a truth teller of being telling the truth but actually i'm here in in london england and i'm seeing people on the street wishing that they would let one man through there was a gentleman that wanted to speak directly to the, these guys look at these guys down at the corner there they, they're pro i don't think they're security there's something like pr <laughs> you know pr this is bad 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 pr for B, for bbc What's, we paid for all of that, but don't worry about who pays for who. We also paid for the police. Everybody pays to make the system work, but the problem is the system's not working. So we need to, uh, we need to not hurt anybody. It's not about hurting anyone. There's no one getting hurt here. We're about saving people, especially children. I just came from COP24. It was the most discouraging event in my 
COP history of, of all these uh, conference of parties of the UN. Sustain a clause was in Paris, sustain a clause was in Morocco, sustain a clause was in Bonn, and sustain a clause was in Katowice just, just a, a week ago. And we were speaking, everybody, there were many sustain a clauses. We're all sustain a clause. We're all about give the gift, the gift of care, the gift of L O V E lifestyle of voluntary effort. That's what everybody here is doing voluntarily. We're all part of trying to convince the establishment to tell us the truth and tell the other people that are really entranced by, by the big corporations and, and, and their need to be in power of, of the politics. But it's not, it's not working anymore. Because as people start to suffer, they will turn against, look at the uh, gilet jaune, you know, the, the, the French uh, 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 yellow jacket. That's not violent either. You see violence, but it's not a violent uh, effort. It's an effort to have the people have a referendum so that they can speak to the government and tell the government what to do. Right? This is not, this is called democracy. They had a revolution a long time ago. And then the United States followed, but now the United States is a fascist uh, country. You know, not a country, not the people, but, but the government is moving that way. So do we want that? Of course we don't want that. But the climate crisis is beyond politics. It's not politics. The climate crisis is our families, our communities, our, our, our quality of life. We're, our quality of life of the children of the future will be very, very poor. Who's responsible for that? Parents. Parents. Parents are responsible for their children. That's the, the bottom line. All of these officers have, have children, or they were children at one point. The people in the COP24 are still children, right? They're arguing over, you know, note or welcome. Two words, you know, Saudi Arabia, United States, um, uh, Russia, you know, these huge countries blocking progress because they make money from oil and because they want to trade. I mean, who makes, who makes money out of trade? A very tiny 0.001 elite of the world. Do you make money out of global ki Kiwis coming to, uh, to London? No. I don't mean the people, I mean the fruit. Um, you know, do you make money out of that? No, somebody in one of these beautiful uh, office towers makes money out of that. And so really, what we need to do is become community again. Remember the spirit of sustain, uh, sustain a clause. The spirit of sustain a clause is the spirit of sustainability. What's sustainability? A family. Smile, change, unplug every Wednesday. Smile and make other people happy. Excuse me. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Oh, this is yours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Well, right, just I was been... just looking for, a, for somewhere to get a sandwich, because um, I've oh, been covering right, right, the protest. Yeah, yeah, yeah I um, saw uh, you there. I came across this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is... So, how long have you been here? Oh, about, uh, I don't know, about six weeks, I guess. Oh, wow, brilliant. Yeah, we, we uh, this is a protest.
with the level of emergency placed on informing the public about the Second World War. I'm going to say that again. The corporation had a duty to broadcast about climate change with a level of urgency placed on informing the public about the Second World War. This is a climate emergency. We need everyone to cooperate on solutions for a better future. We have the solutions. Give us the spaces, give us the logistics, give us some fundings, and we can create a sustainable future. We need the media to be covering those solutions, and we need spaces to make those solutions happen. Thank you very much, Tony Hall. Let's see a lot more environmental programming from the BBC. BC. Direct action gets London calling. You're gathered here on the 21st of December 2018 to inform you that this is a climate emergency. We invite you now to participate in honouring the 315,000 deaths that happen related to climate change. We are doing this now, symbolically, with 27 symbolic bodies, representing those 27 who were killed in the forest fires in the village of Mati in Greece. They arrived at a cul-de-sac. There was nowhere for them to go. And together, they died, burnt alive in a circle. So on this 21st of December, which is our winter solstice day, winter solstice eve, the darkest night, we acknowledge that we are in indeed very, very dark times. This is also the time, one night before the full moon in Cancer, which is also known as the U moon, the moon of death and rebirth. At this first part in honoring these deaths, we honor the dark time of 2018. This is a time to honor our losses, to mourn what needs to be mourned, to accept those setbacks. And then, as we move into the lighter time, which each of you have a candle, we will be lighting candles for what it is that we need to do to go forward in 2019. So I'm going to switch off this mic now, and then when these bodies are all laid in a circle, I'll invite you to gather around the circle, and we will stand in silence, all in a circle gathered around, Please hold your candles, don't light them yet. If you've already lit them, you've lit them, but yeah, we'll do the lighting in the next part. Ah, you brought 
some playmates. You know? Look, Danny, something's wrong with this. It's, oh, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, okay. it's showing through. Show it to the uh, hello. Take the pictures before um, uh, they get moved a lot away. Who's the organiser? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Is anyone I can have a quick chat to about it? We can. We can absolutely be here to listen. Absolutely. Fantastic. Can Can we videotape this? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Just uh, find out a bit more about what your intentions are. Sure, so that's sure. all. Every Wednesday. Can, can you do the video? Yeah. yeah. Just like, no? I do live. Live? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in the on Unless something's scrambled. No, no, no. Something, something's wrong with the camera. I don't know what's the matter. Okay, so let me stand know. over here. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you, officer. No we are here at Oxford Square to ask people to say, ho, 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 Merry Xmas. X out the things you don't need this holiday season. Why? Because we're really approaching a very serious time in our lives. The police, the commons, everybody is having a real problem with extinction. We are heading toward a very, very serious time. Climate change, pollution, all kinds of problems, agricultural failures, we're having a real challenge. So we see thousands of people around here mindlessly consuming. They really don't need to consume these things. This is just, this is extra. They need food, they need shelter, they need love, but they don't need the luxury. So we're just asking people to calm down. Look at LCP, the low carbon panda here. He's a low metabolism. He doesn't eat that much, mostly bamboo. And Roger the Reality Rooster, he's waking us up. Wake up to the reality. The reality is we have to start to pay attention to these issues. So climate change, pollution, social equity, all of these problems are real serious problems. It's not fantasy, it's for your children. So every Wednesday, we ask people to do three things. Number one, smile and make other people happy. When you make other people happy, how do you feel? No, no, no. Most, most, even police people are happy when they make other people happy. So that's number one. She, smile and make other people happy. Number two is change. Change something about who? Can I change you? Say no. You can't change other people, right? You certainly can. Even puppy dogs, you can't change them, right? You have to change yourself. So every Wednesday, we ask people to do three things. Smile, change, and the last one, very important, X out the things you don't need, basically, and put away your phone for three hours. But the basic idea is be social. Stop being, uh, stop being so uh, connected with the... Uh, with uh, this consumer mentality, the McDonald's, the Coca-Cola's, all these things, they're not helping. They're not helping you. They're not helping your family. They're not helping your babies. So let's be part of the solution. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Xmas. Have a happy, joyful, social Christmas. Expel the things you don't need and get the things you do need. Thanks a lot. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Xmas. So in a nutshell, do as you would be done by and think for yourself. For me, I'd, I'd think critically to that, think critically and creatively. If you make people think like that, they won't make bad choices. Now, I'm here buying underwear, but at the end of the day, everybody needs certain things. I don't think you can just blanket say consumerism is bad, it's part of what our culture is. But if you get people to think for themselves, that's true, but that's because people don't think for themselves and they put themselves in the you are, you are absolutely Blah, 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 correct. blah, blah. So if you get people to think for themselves, that's already half the battle but over. I totally agree with you, but let's let's help them. I mean, well, how, 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 how do we stimulate so them to question. think for how themselves? How do you address the mass in a way that doesn't make them feel like they're part of some proletariat that doesn't exist anymore? Yeah, that doesn't yeah. exist. Everybody wants to be an individual. So While social media is a bad thing, everyone is networked too. So if you can think of a way that allows people to 
to express themselves as individuals, but at the same time act as a group, then you have the potential for mass change. I, I totally, I look forward to your solutions. Well, uh, we're doing we're doing what we can is, is send some, out a message. Uh, I came across some uh, post-Marxist theorists called Hard and Negri. They talk about the idea of the multitude of singularities. That's too complicated for I really like. Of <laughs> no, but not here. for the people who are thinking about. People addressing. here are thinking about sex, love, and consuming stuff. Yeah, me too. But not so much the consuming stuff. I'd rather make stuff anyway. Unless you. Oh, 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 ho ho! Merry Xmas. Have fun with your underwear. Right. <laughs> on video, so you've got two minutes. He's got the whole work, so you've got Fantastic. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. The other thing is, I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Police gonna beat us up. So let's uh, just X X out. X X X. Flag. Okay. Cool. Give me your best flag. X X X. We're gonna hug. Yeah, we can hug later. Hugging is good too. Ho ho ho. Okay, and I need one with my camera too. Yes. Are we doing? Ho ho ho. Are we X? Let me give you my camera. Please. You just press the white circle. I have five. Circus doing behind us. Pretty good. Do we need to back up or, or you? Yeah, All right, yeah, 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 please. No, they're gone. They're back oh, off. Oh. <laughs> they gave up. They gave up. Okay, well. It's too hard to talk to me. <laughs> you know? Because I talk to them, that's a problem. I'm not answering the question, I just talk to them. <laughs> to three SG, uh, TSG people. I said, you got children and grandchildren. Doggy. Ex human humanity faces extinction. What are we going to do about it? <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Get the fucking crowd. <laughs> you filming me now? I don't know if it's recording to be honest. All right. I mean, it's too dark. I'm going to record you a little bit. A baby. Baby. baby.
Coggy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here's another one. Come on, doggy. 